Hi everyone. Well, you can tell I've got a big smile on my face. I've got a tiara on my head. It has to be a Wink Wine Diary Friday with some dinner. And I'm so glad that you guys are here to join me because as we all know, it's not healthy for Nancy to drink alone. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my home. Welcome to another Wink Wine Diary Friday. You know, this is one of my favorite subscription boxes. I've been having such good luck with Wink Wine. I don't exactly know what's going on with the company. So as far as I know, I'm just going to continue enjoying it until I can't anymore. But anyway, this is going to be the fourth bottle of wine from my 15th box, my 16th box already shipped and it's already tucked away in the kitchen waiting for some more wine diaries to be made. But um, I am just really, really enjoying this wine. I've had wines, not only just the California Napa Valley type wines, but wines from Australia and Germany and France and Italy and Africa and Australia, Austria had some really really fun wines i love trying to figure out what meals to have with it and then share it with you on a friday and you know and fridays are kind of fun it's the end of the work week for me and you know so maybe i like to dress up in sequins maybe a tiara or a kentucky derby hat just just have some fun with you guys so i appreciate you stopping in and not uh, calling me crazy I know, you've, it's probably on the tip of your tongue sometimes. I know it is. But anyway, I am so enjoying this and I'm so glad that you guys stopped in to visit. And it just means so much to me. I appreciate you guys so much that you can take time out of your day to spend with me. It does mean so much to me and I appreciate you. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you would consider hitting that subscribe button before you go. I would love to have you come back and join us for future videos. Your comments, of course, are always welcome. And of course, us thumbs up always always great to get thumbs up and likes and it just um you know sometimes you get a lot of views but you don't get a lot of likes or you don't get a lot of comments so if you just say hello and just give me a thumbs up that means so much and it really helps get my channel out there so thank you so much for all your support but anyway back to wink so anyway we are going to have a little bit of dinner a little bit of wine and we are going to be having the Folly of the Beast. So this is a 2019 Chardonnay. I've had a Pinot Noir of this like twice, but this is going to be my first um, Chardonnay from them. So I'm really excited to be having this. My dinner tonight is going to be a no-name Parmesan crusted chicken breast. Now the no-name factory is about a half mile from my, from my house, but... They don't have a factory outlet store. That would be good to get some of these at discount. But they've got some really great hamburgers. I love the No Name Salmon. That's kind of in a teriyaki uh, marinade. It's got a little thing that pops up when it's done. So you know that it's done. But they've got some chicken. They've got some other things. And it's just really, really good. Um, I know they sell these at Target. I think they sell them. Like probably all the local grocery stores to me. Like Cub and Coburn's and Byerly's. Things like that. So they probably have it where you are. It's really good to try. That one came with two vacuum sealed chicken, parme par chicken parmesan breasts. So I have one for later. I cut a couple of pieces off this one so that I could try it with you. So I've just got that parmesan crusted chicken breast. And then I've got a Asian salad off to the side. So that's going to be my dinner tonight. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a fantastic Friday. The weekend started and you are going to have a great weekend. I know springtime's coming in most of the country. So people are probably out doing some yard work and things like that. I have not ventured out too far yet. My ground is very, very soggy. I tried to put some of my uh, landscape lights back in, but it was too soggy. But anyway, I'm going to try this. And, um, yeah, like I said, I've just really, really been enjoying my Wink Wine. All 
Alrighty. So we've got this. Let's turn that around so we can see the name. In my wine diary glass. It's a nice pale, pale yellow. It does, it is coating my glass and has some nice legs. So that tells me it's a little bit higher alcohol content. I'm going to kind of swirl this around, let those fragrances unleash and see what we can tell from the fragrance. Alrighty. It's apple -y. It's like tart, tart apple. Maybe some lemon, something zesty like that. Maybe some vanilla too. Alrighty, not peach, but like a light peach. Maybe that's an apricot. Alrighty, cheers everyone. Happy Friday. Oh, may all your Friday dreams come true. Alright, cheers. It is tarter than I would think, but again, I did smell something lemon, the apple, so it is kind of tart, but there's something smooth in here, kind of, not caramel, but something on the idea of caramel, maybe that's the vanilla. It's got a, not a heavy buttery um, creamy texture, but there is a creaminess to it. It's a little bit of heat back here. That might just be the higher alcohol content. Um, didn't really dry too much, but there is like a light like oak. Maybe it was in a not aged that long in oak, or maybe it was a new oak or something, but a light oaky texture to it. Not really, really creamy, but enough of a creamy texture to make, <coughs> to make sorry about that, to make it a nice Chardonnay. Just going to have another quick taste. Cheers, everyone. Yeah, it's not caramel, but there's something in here that softens it. Maybe that helps give it some smoothness. Definitely the vanilla, the apple. It's either like a light peach or an apricot and like a lemon. And then the the oakiness, but something something that's giving it a different texture. And I, I keep thinking caramel, but I, I don't think it's caramel. Alrighty. So anyway, just going to have a quick little bite of my chicken here. And I cut a few pieces off so I didn't make such a big mess. Mm. That Parmesan is nice and crusty. Cheers, everyone. That is good with, with the uh, chicken. Alrighty, so my cheat sheets. So it's a 2019 Folly of the Beast Chardonnay. It's from the Central Coast, California. It's been rated 3.9 out of 5 by the 2,324 customers that rated it. It says it's elegant and complex and classic. It's a medium body, but it is a nice medium body. I'm going to say medium to full. It does have a nice texture. Um, dry and the alcohol is 13.9%. Tasting notes of apple, apricot, butterscotch, that's what got me. That's what I'm thinking of caramel, but it's butterscotch and lemon. It says Folly of the Beast is a Chardonnay that proves that a little madness pays off. It's our mission, our madness, if you will, to consistently deliver impossibly good 100% Chardonnay at an unrivaled price. To create this white whale of the wine world, we went to California's central coast where the foggy mornings and cool evenings have a magical effect on this grape. A certain amount of skill and tenacity is essential to produce a Chardonnay of this statue. The and folly of the Beast is a prime example of the heights this variety can reach. This complex white shows no notes of citrus, apple, peach, and vanilla, and will be a showstopper at your next party. It says how to serve it chilled, then let it warm up in your glass. Mine is room temperature. And surprisingly enough, that's still 63, even though I know the heat's not running. I know, crazy, right? And it says it pairs well with pasta, shellfish, pasta with cream sauce, and salad. And of course, I'm having salad and poultry. But you know, the thing that they had to pair it with 
and I wish it didn't have so many recipes, so many ingredients in it. Um, they suggested caramelized onion and butternut squash tart. But it had like so many ingredients. And I was thinking, you know, I used to watch Chris from K and K, but she hasn't been on YouTube for a while. She was like the frittata queen. She made out of no matter what the leftovers was in her refrigerator, she could make the most tastiest looking frittatas ever. And I was looking around in my refrigerator and I said, gee, I wish I had some leftovers to make a frittata. And that would have been good with some caramelized onions. But sadly, I did not have any leftovers in my refrigerator. Even sadder, I did not have any eggs. I know. But anyway, so anyway, but that does look good. I would like to um, go back and watch Chris from K&K, &K, uh, her channel again, and get some of her recipes from for her frittatas. They really did look good. But anyway, so that's going to be it for my Friday Wink Diaries. So I am so glad that you guys decided to stop in, spend a few minutes of your day. Thank you guys so much. I hope that everybody goes out, has a fabulous weekend. Take care, everyone. COVID is still out there. We've got some people that I know that are still suffering from it, whether it's a fresh COVID case or a long COVID case. It's still out there. So please try to be careful, be safe, but have fun. Be kind. Enjoy life. Be happy. Love you guys so much, and I can't wait to see you in our next video. Bye-bye.